Okay, so this video tutorial is going to go through how to build a basic website using Serif Web Plus X8. Now, although Web Plus has been discontinued, um, we still use it quite a lot, and it is a relatively good, easy to use package. Now, to start building a website, the first thing I typically do is click on the X on the top here to close this uh, window down, and it by default makes me a one page basic site. And the first thing I always do is click on the plus to add in a new page and because this is a cruise website that we're building for um, on the year 9 project what I'm going to do is start off by doing a deals page and as you can see I named the page now deals now if you needed to you could also specify the uh, file name there so I'm going to change this from page 2.html to deals notice I've got a lowercase d on the bottom here um, and when I click OK, it'll add then a page into my navigation here. If I click the plus again, I'm going to add another page called Contact Us. And again, if I change the page name here, I'm just going to use Contact because it doesn't really like me using spaces. And again, I've got a lowercase c, I can click OK. Now, if in the future I wanted to add in any more pages, that's fairly easy. All I've got to do is click on the plus here. Now this is my page structure that I've added, so you can see there's nothing on the pages at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to change now to a master page, which is here. And if I click on the master to expand, and then double click on master A, this now is my template page that I've got. Now we can add in images here, fairly quickly, by dragging and dropping. And what I've already got are my Photoshop banners that I've already made. So in my documents, I've already got a floating window, like as you can see. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click, hold down with the mouse, drag my banner over, and then leave go. What that has done is it's brought in my banner, and I can then move that to the top. Now you can also see at the moment because I'm on my master page I have the eye there on the master page there's no eyes on the other pages which means I am definitely working on the master page now what we can also do with this is we can insert a navigation bar and later on in the video tutorials I'll show you how to change the navigation bars so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the insert menu navigation and then navigation bar now there's loads of different navigation bars built in with Serif. Right? There's literally hundreds of different styles, types, and so forth. All of them can be edited. You've got some really nice graphical um, versions in here, especially with the uh, X8 software. But I'm going to stick with the standard one at the moment. I'm going to go with this one here. Um, as you can see, it's got Home Products and Gallery. This is just a preview showing you what it's going to look like. When you click OK, and then click once, it'll then add your navigation bar into your website. Now don't worry if it looks to be cutting off um, words from your navigation bar. I'm actually zoomed out here at 53% so it will try and crop certain things out to make sure I can see it because this is what we call a wuzzy wig editor. Now the last thing I'm going to look at on this um, page is adding in a background. So if I right click now on my page and then go to page properties, what this allows me to do is click on background and then I can change this here from use site appearance to use page background. Now we could if we want to do just to change the color of the page or we have a background color. But I'm going to use an image for this. So if I click on add, I'm going to then browse for the image itself which will take me then into my documents and then I'm going to go into my cruise website folder I'm going to go into my images folder and one of these images I've saved here which is going to be used for my background now I'm going to make sure this button here is selected which is embed picture because I want it to live within the site and I'm going to click open now I don't really want it to scale anyway because I know the image is big enough but if the image was small I could have it to scale to maximum so it would then stretch it out a little bit 
but as my image is big enough it's fine as it is I'm going to click OK and then this quick preview shows me what the page actually looks like and then I can click OK again and you can see now my image has been set as the background now if we were to preview this I can click on the preview site here and I'm going to preview in Google Chrome and what this has done is it's rendered me a preview of my site which at the moment has got not a lot on it but you can see what it looks like now one of the things that I do try to teach people how to do is put some form of boundary on your pages so I'm just gonna close this and move it back over here and I'm gonna use a shape tool which is here click on the shape and then I'm gonna draw over using this white box here now I want to turn off the outer line here so I'm going to click on my color tool I'm going to click then on the line option which is here and I'm going to click transparency and this gets rid now of the line which was here because there was a black line around this shape I'm going to also make this now a little bit see-through by clicking on it clicking on transparency and then going halfway now you'll see it hasn't actually done anything because I've forgotten to change from the line back to fill so if I click on the fill now and I click on halfway you can see now it's slightly transparent and if I send it to the back and now preview the site again what it'll do is it'll re-render it now this is my image before or my website before rather this is my website now after so by just putting this transparency in it'll mean I'll be able to add some text yeah, I'll be able to add images but it puts a page boundary on here for me to add a whole host of different things so this now is how I build up a very 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 quick master page now you can enhance this a little bit more if you wanted to you could add a secondary navigation bar at the bottom you could add a copyright notice on the bottom there into a footer um, or you could add a whole host of other things but at the moment I'm quite happy with the design the next tutorial that we're going to look at is going to be building up some of the other pages.